after them guys. There are 14 marine sanctuaries around the, the, really the planet from American Samoa to the Florida Keys. But Thunder Bay is the only one in the Great Lakes. It's the only freshwater sanctuary, and it's the only one that was designated to protect a collection of historic shipwrecks, specifically. This is what this ship looked like when it was first started out. We have shipwrecks ranging from your old wooden schooner up to huge steel freighters at 200 feet deep. The Great Lakes, the water that's surrounding them are one of the nation's most precious natural resources. And so the research that we do often not only teaches us about the history and the archaeology, but it also tells us about the lake, the ecology of the lake, and how we can help protect both the history and the lake itself. Imagine that video on Facebook. Yeah. Other instruments you know, back have, to our little one. It didn't always look like that. You could be a big tall wooden one. Okay. But you ready? Okay. Hey guys, you have some tether. Come on. Hey, take it down, guys. It allows us to not only uh, be able to use the resources that it has here, but it connects us kind of worldwide so that we've got this worldwide connection on, with researchers and, and we can collaborate on all kinds of different projects and it really just opens up the world to the classroom.